distributions of the pandyas. In this module, you will learn about the phases of the Pandya kingdom and the conquests of its rulers. The Pandya dynasty was an ancient Tamil dynasty that ruled parts of South India from 600 BC to first half of 17th century AD. The Pandyas occupied the region comprising the modern districts of Madurai, Tirunelveli, parts of Trichy and even some parts of Travancore. The head of the government was the monarch or king whose throne was hereditary. The king divided his territory into a number of administrative units, each called a mandalam. The mandalams were further divided into many sub-provinces called Nadu or Valanadu. Each Nadu consisted of many villages. The king was assisted by the ministers, generals and the army chief. Special officers were appointed to collect taxes and maintain accounts. Committees were appointed to look after the specified units such as law and order, agriculture, irrigation, etc., which were called as variams. The village administration was looked after by five such variams, namely Aranilaya Variam, Nir Nilai Variam, Nanaya Variam, Varithandal Variam, and Nidhi Variam. Agriculture and trade were the main occupations of the people. The agriculturists were called Bhumiputra. Slaves were also employed to carry out different tasks. The Pandyas were famous for their pearl diving skills. The pearls found during the Pandya dynasty are famous all over the world. The well-known ports of the Pandyas were Korkai and Thondi. The Pandya dynasty was enriched by many great scholars and writers. Manikavasagar composed Tiruvasagam and Andal composed Thiruppavai. Nammalvar composed Thiruppalandu. Villiputrar wrote the Mahabharata and Adhivira Rama Pandya wrote Naidadham. Srikara Viraya wrote books, namely Seyur Murugan Ula and Rathengiri Ula. Thus, the Pandyas contributed greatly to the progress of literature. The contributions of the Pandyas to art and architecture are noteworthy. The special features of the Pandya temple architecture are the Gopuras, Prakaras, Vimanas, Garbhagrihas and Gateways. The Pandya period revived rock-cut temples and architecture. More than 50 rock-cut temples were excavated in the Pandya kingdom at several places such as Kunnakudi, Anai Malai, Sithanavasal, Thiruparan Kudram, Kulugamalai, Malayadi Kuruchi, Tiruchirapalli, etc. Structural temples were constructed by the Pandya rulers at Kovilpatti, Tiruppathur, Madurai, Srivilliputur, and other such places. Kulasekara Pandya built 
अर्धमंडपा मणिमंडपा एंड सन्निधि इन एवरी टेम्पल ऑफ हिज एम्पायर पब्लिक मीटिंग्स सोशल गैदरिंग्स रिलीजियस कीर्तन रिसाइटल्स एंड कथा नाटका वेर हेल्ड इन द सभा मंडपास ऑफ टेम्पल्स द पांड्या स्कल्पचर्स आर ब्यूटिफुल एंड ऑर्नामेंटल द स्कल्पचर्स ऑफ सोमस्कंदर दुर्गा गणपति नरसिम्ह एंड नटराजा आर एक्सेलेंट स्पेसिमेंट्स ऑफ दिस पीरियड Many sculptures are also found at Kulugumalai, Thiruparangkundram, Thirumalaipuram, Narttamalai, and Kunnakudi. Amongst the fine arts, painting was greatly developed by the Pandyas. The mural paintings of Sri Maran Sri Vallabha Pandya of the first Pandya kingdom. are seen in the sittan vasal cave temples the paintings of lotus bathing elephants and playing fish are noteworthy the pandya rulers thus left a unique and everlasting impact on the tamil society and south indian history let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the contributions of the pandya empire